Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. So in the last videos we have completed the fingerprint authentication. So now in this video we will learn how we can perform the fingerprint authentication using any server. So I will use Firebase email and password authentication for my authentication. So first of all I want to show the example of the fingerprint authentication using the server. So here we have two images. Here you can see this is the banking application that use email and password authentication or username password authentication. But when we logged in first time, our application just shows username and password. When we log in successfully, it shows the fingerprint authentication. Mean it will log in using the fingerprint by using same email that his user already logged in. So first of all, we have to connect our project with server. I'm using Firebase authentication as a server. So we have to connect our project with Firebase. So here I will click on the tool, select on the Firebase. And here we have to select our authentication and just click on this authentication using the custom authentication system and just click on the connect to Firebase. And if it's showing this error, you have to go to build.gradle app file. Sorry, build.gradle app file. And here you have to comment this J center. This is the bug in our latest version of the Android Studio. So just click on the sync now. Okay, after comment this J center, you have to click on the connect to Firebase. And here you have to connect any project with Firebase authentication. So here I will select this project. Okay, now click on the connect now. So it will connect your project with Firebase authentication. So now we have to add the dependency of the SDK. So here I click on and accept changes. Okay, our repository is successfully added. So now we have to open our XML code. So here you can see we have just a fingerprint image view and a text view. So first of all, we have to remove this text view and we have to add email and password authentication uh, input fields so we have to add that one so here i will copy paste my codes so here we have few input fields and passwords you can see here and here i have fingerprint button so just add the constraint okay now at start we have to hide the visibility of this image view so select this one and just set the visibility gone so here I will select the visibility gone. So we have to initialize all the member variable inside our main activity. So here we have previous code. So create the added text. So let me create the added text here. Input email. Okay, now we have to initialize inside on create method. Okay, now I have initialized all the member variable inside on create method. So now we will set click listener inside this method. So because we have added the dependency of the Firebase authentication. So here we will create the instance of the Firebase. So Firebase auth m auth. Okay, now need to initialize the Firebase authentication instance. Okay, now we will set click listener on this BTN login. So here I will select BTN login dot set on click listener. New on click listener. So we will get the email and password from the input field. So here I will select create the variable. So string email. Okay, now here we will perform authentication. So I will create the method perform auth. So here we will send the email and password inside this method. And here I will click here and press Alt Enter to create this method inside this activity. Okay, so now we will use the m auth 
dot sign with email and password so here i will provide the email and then password dot add on complete listener new on complete listener okay now here we have error so here i will press alt enter to add the annotation okay while loading this perform authentication method we have to create the dialog so here i will create the progress dialog at the top so here we have to create the progress dialog i just simply call it progress dialog and here i will initialize inside on create method okay so now we need to initialize inside on perform method so progress dialog dot set message we will only add the message so here i will click add login okay so progress dialog dot show okay if our task is successful then we have to add email and password inside share preferences so here we will check if task dot is successful then we have to add share preference so here we will create share preference dot editor dot editor equal to get share preferences and here we will pass the key so i will pass the data and here i will pass the mood so here i will select the mood private and dot edit okay now we need to add few stuff inside the editor so here i will call editor dot put so here i will pass email and here i will pass email and then editor dot put so here i will pass the password and here i will pass the password okay now we will add one more thing so editor dot put boolean so here we will pass is login so here i will pass here true okay so now we will pass editor dot apply that's it and here we have to show toast message or you can simply send user to home activity so here we will create start activity new intent and this is our main activity and target activity is over home activity so here home activity dot class that's it and here we have to show the toast message so i can simply show toast message login successful okay now we have to dismiss over dialog so here i will simply progress dialog dot dismiss that's it and inside over else condition here we will show error so else progress dialog dot dismiss and also we can simply show toast message task dot get exception so it's very easy okay so when we here inside on create method here first we will check either user already login or not so here we will create the share preference at top so share preference i will simply call it share preferences so here we have to initialize inside okay here we have to initialize it share preferences equal to get share preferences so here i will again pass data and mood mode is private okay now we will get the data so here i will create the boolean is login equal to share preferences dot get boolean so here i will pass is login and here default value is false okay now we will get the email and password from the share preferences so here we will create the share preference sorry if is login so if user is already logged in 
then we have to get the email and the password so here i will create the string email equal to shape references dot get string so here we will create the email and the default value is null and again string password equal to share preferences dot get string and here we will pass the password and default value is null okay if user is already logged in then we have to show over visibility of the button enable so we have to open over image view dot set visibility sorry set visibility visible okay so here we have to open our method where we have authentication succeeded so instead of new activity here we have to open our next method so let me show you here we have to cut the email and password from here and we have to when over authentication this button is succeeded we have to open the method that is perform so here we have to add the email and password that's it okay now my phone is connected so let's run the application okay here you can see over application successfully running so at default is showing email and password authentication only so let me open my database so here we have database so here we have to open our authentication okay open the authentication so here we have email and password method so we have to perform any of them so if you did not log in any user so you can add from user here or you can add the registered page also so i already registered one user so here i will type my email and here i will type my password and i will click on the login so here you can see it's login and it will open the home screen so let's run the application again okay now here you can see i open the application second time now it's showing the image view button so let's click on this button so here you can see biometric authentication pop-up dialog is available so let's place my finger on this fingerprint so here you can see it's start login that's it so now next time we haven't any need to perform the uh, email and password authentication just we have to place our finger and that's it so this is the real authentication that is login using the firebase authentication so i can log in many times you can see here it's just need to place our finger and that's it only first time we have to add our email and password so maybe you see this example in many banking application so this is our demo application So if you have any question, any problem, let me in the comment section. Please like my video, share my video and subscribe my channel. See you next video. Take care.